In a church in America, everything seemed normal, until the Jesus statue started to move its eyes. Over the last century, the Catholic Church has wanted to have many events around the world investigated to find out if they were just coincidence or a miracle. One of the most famous cases was the miracle of Fatima, which occurred in 1917 in Fatima, a town in Portugal. That year, three children claimed that God had promised them a proof of his existence. On the day God promised, hundreds of people allegedly witnessed the sun falling from the sky and touching the earth. Even today, thousands of people make pilgrimages to this place every year to celebrate the event. Of course, there is no evidence for this and it's up to each person to believe in what they want. But let's look further at what other events have been investigated by the Catholic Church. Another event was that in a Yugoslavian village, more and more young men and women had reported being visited by the Virgin Mary. The event we want to focus on today, however, happened in 1989 in Ambridge, Pennsylvania. Ambridge is located just under 30 kilometers from Pittsburgh. The area around the town is deserted and empty because the steel mills nearby had closed in the 80s and therefore fewer and fewer people moved there. However, many of the residents refused to move away after the closure. In order to continue as a community, some residents gathered at Holy Trinity Church. The church had been around for a long time and was particularly proud of its hanging crucifix from 1931. But it was starting to fall apart, so it was decided in January 1989 to commission a local artist named Dominic Leo to restore it. Leo then spent hours restoring the crucifix to its original form. He had paid great attention to the painting of Jesus' eyes. On March 24, 1989, a three-hour special mass was held in the church on Good Friday. More than 300 people were in the church that day to attend the mass. The priest's nephew served as an altar boy that day. When he looked up at the crucifix during prayer, he made an amazing discovery. The eyes of the crucifix, which were normally open, now seemed to be closed. Immediately he felt great happiness, but also shock. He asked his brother to look too and he too confirmed that the eyes were now closed. At first, however, the two of them were not sure whether it might not just be an illusion caused by light and shadow, so the nephew went to the other side of the altar to test another angle. When he got there, he looked up again and saw that the eyes were still closed. After the service ended, the two brothers began to cry. Their uncle, the priest, then asked what was wrong and they told him that Jesus had closed its eye at the crucifix. The priest and another priest then looked more closely and they too confirmed that the eye were now closed. The priest then had the artist Dominic Leo come into the church. He too got a shock when he noticed that the eyes were closed. It seemed to him that the eyes were moving and tears were coming out of them. He too then began to cry. They finally got a ladder to examine the crucifix from close up as it was hanging at a height of 2 meters. There, they saw that the left eye was completely closed and the right eye was slightly open. Word quickly spread and another church member, police officer Chris Marion, wanted to make sure that no one had tampered with the crucifix. He was a big skeptic to begin with. He too looked at the figure and he came to the conclusion that no one had tampered with the crucifix. Another member then confirmed that the eyes were open until Good Friday. That night, a member of the church is said to have stood under the crucifix and received a divine message. The divine message said, I have given this sign for all those who have come faithfully. My presence is real in this church. In the coming month, many will flock to see what I have done. Welcome them like the people of Yugoslavia welcome those who flock to my mother. This was a reference to the story I mentioned at the beginning. Interestingly, many residents of the area came from the town in Yugoslavia where the Virgin Mary was said to have been seen. Although many members of the church were convinced the miracle had taken place, others were very skeptical. 
They believed that this so-called miracle was a hoax or that someone had hallucinated. After this incident, thousands of people came to the church to see the crucifix with their own eyes. Even though it did not move its eyes afterwards, for many people in the small town it was a miracle that had led them away from sadness and despair. Suzanne Rainy was a Catholic scholar. She believed that the passionate faith of the whole community led them to all see something that was not there. She believes that the group saw the statue's eye as a sign that they were successful and that their church was pleasing to God. The Catholic Church eventually officially endorsed this skepticism. It had stated that such an event cannot be recognized as a miracle until several criteria and tests have been completed. The television program Unsolved Mysteries then traveled to the small town to observe the crucifix as it moved. Comparison photos were also superimposed showing the crucifix before and after its restoration. A few weeks after Unsolved Mysteries finished filming the story, the Pittsburgh Bishops Commission issued an official statement. The commission had reviewed videotapes and photographs and determined that there was no convincing evidence that a miracle had taken place in this church. This decision meant that the Vatican took no further action in the case. However, at the time they still wanted to stress that the witnesses were sincere and they did not want to badmouth the story. Many of the witnesses still believe today that the Jesus figure had its eyes closed. The church was officially closed in 2004. The priest resigned after the official statement and he died in 2004. The artist Dominic Leo died in 2017 at the age of 90. Some more priests resigned after the event. What do you think about this story? I've also linked you the full episode of Unsolved Mysteries in the description if you feel like watching it. Until then, the story of the blinking Jesus remains a mystery of history. Good night and stay safe.